Hello, my people. I trust you all are doing great. See, eh, this video, this video, they give me joy. I they tell you, God, they, what God cannot do does not exist. You see, as God don't bless the video again with twins, God even wipe away all the sorrow, all the things. Ah, Baba God, you did. When I don't see now this latest interview with the video do with United Masters, now they ain't come confirm for people where they even the doubt. Say what you have, say what they have. My brother, my sister, make you know the doubt to at all. Eh, more now wash for this interview, David will come talk waiting, can shake me. He say, say him and Choma and wife, they shake when they come find out, say, ah, na twins in wife one born. Oh more, eh, the interview shake me. And on I remember saying that for October last year, 2022, Nain, the video, and in wife can lose their picking, if I that healing journey no day is you, eh? But I see, you just see and say, God don't bless them, don't give them double. I be more on a watch the video, more on a cheer on a toss. But I know say what you go talk here and a congratulation because if they happy for person, your own no go finish, eh? Your mind no go touch ground. Oh more, more on I enjoy this video, more on a share around, more on they follow this page. Eh? Now only good things they are back. It's very hard. A lot of people that that those things happen to. You would never want to believe in God ever in your life. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? But to still have faith, uh, to still be able to do what I love, having a great team around me, and just focusing. You know what I'm saying? And now... It's very we're, special, man. Yeah, now, now, now we're almost at the finish line. And you know what I'm saying? It's a story that I want people to see and, and watch, you know? The, the, just the, going through that tragedy with your son and then having twins... It's just a, such a blessing in life, no, man. Now, nah, when me and my wife found out, we were shaking like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, and it was in the same month. My son passed last year, October. My wife gave birth this year, October. So, it's crazy. Uh, uh, yo. <laughs> okay. Now I want you to talk your shit. You got that <laughs> Super Bowl ring on your finger for a reason. When did you realize you was a global superstar? Uh, I mean, you were that nigga. I was like, yeah. Um, Tell me, when I, you knew it. I think I've had, I've had different times where I thought I was lit. And then the next time I was like, yo, I, was, I wasn't even lit. Now I'm lit. So I can relate. Well, you, you dropped out of high school, correct? Nah. You did not drop out of high school. Somebody asked me that. I was like, I did not drop out of high school. But, okay. <laughs> no, no, I didn't but drop you out. But you moved to London to Pursue music. Yes, I, right. I didn't drop out of high school. I did two years of college. I left after two years of college. Then I went to London for a while, for like four months. Um, and then I went to Nigeria. So when you went to London, did you go there to pursue music? Was that where you went to pursue so, music? So after high school, I finished high school in Nigeria. And I think my last day of high school was when I kind of figured out that I want to do music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so... I was I went to I went to college at 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? Because in Nigeria, I think in America you guys go to college at like 17, 18, there about. But in Nigeria we go like a year before. It's kind of weird, but that's how it is. So I went to college at 16, and then my dad sent me to a college in Alabama. I went to Alabama first, Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama? That was the first place I first went to, like when I first came, Huntsville, Alabama. I was there for about, but funny enough, this school had like the best musical program. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know that, but this school had like the best musical program. I think they had like 